Welcome back. On this episode of MTV Freaks, Ooh, I, that I take a friend from work out yeah, baby. to his very first Stand time up, at sir. Baker Stand Creek. Up. There you go. Keep your legs even, yep, and put whatever leg forward you feel comfortable with. And while trying to <laughs> teach him a thing or two, oh, we end up bro. getting stuck in the rain oh, on the trail. Oh, Did you guys see his back tire? <laughs> Oh, this shit is not so, good, bro. Don't try this at home. Oh, sir. But if you do get stuck Whoa, in the jump, rain, jump. make sure you enjoy the ride. Guys, I knew this was going to be epic going by me, ah. dude. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, oh, bro. Yes, sir. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the channel again. You guys know me. I'm Jody. Today, I brought somebody brand new with me. This is my buddy from work, Tyler. So Tyler, hey. tell him about yourself, buddy, All what do you right, do? so I'm about to be a college rugby player and I do a little bit of mountain biking and Jody asked me to come out here and I said, yeah, sure, so. We're gonna get ready, guys, get back up to the top of the hill. So we'll catch you guys up top. Whoa. Okay, so we're on our way up to Cruz Valley. I just wanted to give a little respect and shout out. I do have a video coming from this company called Cyclord. Um, it is a little special, the video is, it has taken me weeks, which is why I haven't got a video out. So you'll actually see this video before you'll see the video on these shorts. Big shout out to Cycor for uh, sponsoring MTB Freaks. My buddy Tyler from work, uh, he doesn't really know what he's doing, so I better pay a little bit more attention to his bike, because he about left without this clamp down. Which would have made one hell of a crash. I'm a little stupid, don't worry about it. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Sir. So, do you think you can stay on me? No, but I'll try. You're gonna try. Yeah. All right, I'm shutting the I'm shutting the e-bike off completely off. You see that? Yeah. Off. So at this point, you have no excuses. I have a 60-pound bike that's like 40 pounds heavier, and I'm fat. So, get into get into your hard gear to pedal. Okay. And are you ready? Come on. Stay high. Up here on this line, guys. Whoa. That's my battery you're hearing rattling. It is not me. <laughs> Although I am old, my bones are probably rattly. Okay. You coming, buddy? Stand up, don't sit down. Okay, guys. Stand up, don't sit down. You ready? All right, here's that. It's coming up here in just a minute. It's coming up here in just a minute. Here it is, right here, go to the right. Oh, I cleared that to the flat. Yeah, baby. All right, and we will, oh, I tried to manual that. I couldn't get my front wheel in the air. Did you guys see that? Well, it got in the air, but it wasn't high enough. Oh, my back wheel is loose. I had like two or three turns on that and then my my tightening screw loosened up too so that was probably me cleaning my bike the other day and forgetting to tighten it up or my wife trying to kill me because she hates my guts i'm gonna go for option b so the bike is off as you guys can see down there you don't need an e-bike for downhill okay you need body language rump boom you need skill and you need confidence Rump. Bam. And I know this looks tiny. It is. But your skills don't have anything to do with the size of the trail you're riding. So get out here and practice Ugh. on some of these smaller trails. You'd be surprised how well they help you out with your skills, okay? That's mostly for Tyler when he watches this later, by the way, folks. I know most of my audience is mountain bikers and they understand what skills and so on are necessary. And right as we got to the bottom, Tyler's bike broke down. Next to you, or like the forest next to you. <laughs> so, he's about got his bike back together. 
Um, I made him do all the work. That's the only way you're ever gonna learn. If you need to uh, fix your own bike out on the trail one or two times, you'll be more apt to know how to do stuff with your own hands on your bike the next time. Spoiler so. alert, I don't know shit. <laughs> Spoiler alert, I'm a bike mechanic and a regular mechanic and I don't either, so don't feel bad. <laughs> Want you guys to know that the turtles are out here, they're on the trail. Please be very careful not to hit those fellas. Are you um, moving him five feet that way. Excellent, sir. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. Stand up, sir, stand up. There you go. Keep your legs even, yep, and put whatever leg forward you feel comfortable with. There you go, keep, there you go. All right, don't go so fast, just slow down and take your time. We're looking for, there you go. Yeah, baby. We're looking for. Uh... Okay, you're slow down and stop right here. Okay, something that I'm noticing you're doing before we even go any further. Right before you go over a, a jump, you're leaning your butt way far back, like you're trying to get away from the jump. That's booting you forward. Stay central mass on your and don't run away from the jump, but try to. You know, you don't have to. You don't have to preload all crazy or none of that stuff for today because you're brand new but try to maybe pop off just a little bit with your legs, not with your arms, um, and just try to pop off a little bit and you'll notice that your bike will come up dead even. <laughs> All right, sir, there you go. Now keep your feet level. Yep, there you go. There you go, way better. There we go, sir. You've got the speed. Yeah, you've got the speed. You just, once you get into the mode where you're stopping and you better start standing up over those. You want to be standing. Let me go right in front of you right here for a second and just follow me slow. I right, pop. Okay, right, ready? Pop. See, I lean the bike over. Whoa, kitty kitty, that was a bobcat, y'all. I don't know if you got a chance to see that. I think it was a bobcat. I don't think it had any tail. Not like a bobcat, like a, I think they might call them tomcats. Like a house kitty with no tail. Not like a big kitty with no tail. All right, how's that feel? Better? Good man. All right, now just enjoy your ride and I'll leave you alone. Yeah, buddy. Boom. Just keep your butt off that seat. That a baby. That's why I say you need wider bars. You feel how unstable you feel when you stand up? That's why you're trying to sit down? That reason is because you don't have wide enough bars really to make you feel like you have control over your bike. All right, pull over right here. Yes, sir. The rain just hit. As you can tell from looking we're probably at the ground, to get down this guy pretty it wasn't quick. raining very hard so at all. Up here at the top, we might as well ride down for get too wet. Until we so, got ready to what's your drop name? in, and then Luke? a month. And so you're from Wisconsin. Yeah. Yikes. Brad. So he's a local. We let him use this Kona. Now this at this stuff point, is slippery. it was already raining hard. We try to take it easy. But listen closely to how much the rain picks the rain, up right but, here. Ain't much we could do about it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> oh shit, it's slop. It's slop. <laughs> oh my god, bro. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Did you guys see his back tire? <laughs> uh, uh, this shit is not good, bro. <laughs> uh, uh, now we know. <laughs> Now we know how Danny Hart got so good at downhill in the rain. <laughs> Whoop, boom. Whoop, boom. All right. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, sir. Uh, whoa, jump, jump. <laughs> Guys, I knew this was going to be epic going behind this dude. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. What a hell of a good day. Uh, oh, yeah, he's getting steezy. Nice, sir. Yeah, that's the cheater way. 
I normally go that way, but not today. <laughs> it's a little too wet. Oh shit. Hey, I'm on an electric bike. If I get electrocuted, somebody call the ambulance. <laughs> I hear that lightning. <laughs> it just hit me that I've got 52 volts underneath my ass. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, my front end's sliding everywhere. Uh, oh my god. Uh, these, these tires suck. I threw a whip and I couldn't get my bike to come back after we landed. <laughs> oh shit. Oh yeah, this is gonna be gnarly. <laughs> my phone is getting ruined and my GoPro doesn't have the battery cover on it. So, <laughs> so. This may be the last video I shoot for you guys with the GoPro Hero 8. I may be buying a GoPro Hero 10 very soon. <laughs> nice, sir. Oh, oh bro. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. It looks like we shit our pants, dude. You guys are just brown. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, holy fuck, dude. To the right, right here. We're going back to the car, right? Yeah. And we're gonna bust the left right here. We might wait for them though. Because they're gonna be screwed if they don't know how to get out of here. Woo! Holy shit, sir. Dude, normally if you guys would have came on any other day, right? We would have been able to just send it through there. Right. And then it becomes all different to the ball game. Look at my poor white. <laughs> <It's> a, <yeah. laughs> my fucking phone's in my pocket. It's all screwed. Oh yeah. It's screwed, dude. That's all right, I was just getting ready to turn it in for a new phone. Apparently, they're going to have to do that. <laughs> Verizon, I need a new phone. <laughs> yeah, I lost my battery door like yesterday, and all of a sudden it's raining. I told my wife, I'm like, the new Hero 10's coming out. I need it. And she's like, no, you don't, right? And then all of a sudden, now my, my GoPro is going to be screwed up, so it's like a really good thing. <laughs> Woo! All right, guys. So don't, if you have the option, don't come out here to ride and this shit right here because it's disrespectful to the trails and the builders but if you're already at top when the oceans open up there ain't got really a choice so try to minimize the the abuse uh, of the trail that's why we went really slow and just took a till but try to get off of there as soon as possible so that you don't screw up the uh, system itself okay anyway hell of a good time I'm going to leave this son of a bitch outside up until the moment in which it stops raining so that I can put it on the roof. Cause screw this. It is wet. <laughs> Guys, appreciate it, brother. <laughs> so, as you can tell, they must have got rained on instantaneously too because all their shit's still sitting outside, which means nobody had time to do anything. Here, move my uh, move my stuff over, please. I can't get it, Oh, I'm just waiting until it stops raining. I ain't playing games. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Screw all that. Move that bait, please. We can do that. She's like just talking instead of moving it. We can do that. And I'm over here getting topped and wet. <laughs> oh my God, I'm wet. So that was Baker Creek in the rain. Don't come out here and do as I do. Do as I say. Uh, that sucked. No. Tyler was lucky because he's like, oh no, bro. I don't want to go up for the last time. I feel like I'm just going to get give me a little relaxation time. Yeah, I should have listened to him. <laughs> you know what I mean? So stupid is the stupid does. And my mom always told me life was like a box of chalk, but you never know when you're going to get wet. All right, we'll catch you guys next time. Oh, this has been uh, MTB Freaks. That has been Tyler. The other gentleman, if you'll go ahead and leave your name and uh, information, all that below, I will tag you in this video too. Today was a true beginner's day. We've actually got a couple gentlemen. This guy just started, to uh, what, like recently? Yeah. This gentleman's only been riding for like 12 months. You know, Tyler's just been riding for today or a couple days. And then the other people that we've seen earlier have only been riding just temporarily. How far a beginner can progress in just a very short period of time over here at Baker. Nice. Nice. Woo! Nice. Nice, gentlemen. Nice, gentlemen. Yes, sir. Come on, Tyler. You got it, buddy. You got it. Yes, sir. As you can tell, 
um, even just with a little short period of time. This is his first time ever jumping his bike and he's getting some air out here and doing pretty darn well. Do you consider mountain biking addictive? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on, a, on a scale of one to 10, uh, one being you're never coming back, 10, I'm probably going back every chance I get. Uh, what do you rate Baker Creek at? Nine. Nine, <laughs> excellent. So uh, beginners, guys that are brand new, just like you that haven't been riding for a million years, um, are they laughed at or joked about or anything nah, like that? No, 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 man. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, other than that, what do you think? Like, is it is a good place to learn to progress or? Definitely, yeah. I mean, I came in here, I've always been good at like uh, cross country type. I've, I've ridden like 15 or 20 miles on like more difficult cross country trails, but jumping is just, Hold never did it, you either gotta, do it or don't there's no you gotta go balls deep that's it <laughs> that's it yeah, yeah that's right. true yeah. Like it. um so yeah guys we appreciate you uh hanging out with us you can't really ride baker in the wet but you can ride out here at the jump line in the wet so that's what we did um you know we're already wet why not just continue to get wet right so yeah so guys uh at least until next time you know what to do like, unless it's like this outside then do not stay <laughs> on your bike yeah that, at that point get your butt inside Woo! so Thanks for joining us on another episode of MTB Freaks. Thunderstorms can literally pop out of nowhere. So if this ever happens to you, please try getting off the trail as quickly as possible. I am personally going to head out to this trail next weekend with a shovel to fix any damage that was done to the trail. So again, don't try this at home. Also, if you like the video, please consider subscribing. If you click the bell icon, You'll be notified every time we drop a new video. So until next time, always remember, stay on your bike.